Ain't that just like Ryan? Wait until we're almost out, and then he pulls the string. We'll find the bastard. We'll find him, and we'll tear his heart out! I came to this place to build the impossible. You came to rob what you could never build. A hum gaping at the gates of Rome. Even the air you breathe is sponged from my account. Well, breathe deep. So later you might remember the taste. You get to the bathosphere in the rolling hills. That'll take you straight to the devil himself. And then all debts will be paid in full. Augmentation procedure is a success. The slugs alone could not provide enough atom for serious work, but combined with the host, now we have something. The slug is embedded in the lining of the host's stomach, and after the host feeds, we induce regurgitation. And then we have 20, 30 times yield of usable atom. The problem now is the shortage of hosts. Soon, the first home for little sisters will open and that problem will be solved. Thank <laughs> you. 
surprise! Today, Arcadia was closed off to all but paying customers. The man hires me to build a forest at the bottom of the ocean and then turns a walk in the woods into a luxury. Ryan asked, should a farmer not be able to sell his food? Is a potter not entitled to a profit from his pots? Oh, I started to argue with the man, and then I remembered who signed my checks. The only thing worse than a hypocrite is an unemployed one.
Yes? Mm. I'm your best! Even in the gathering dark, you light a candle. You have saved the little ones when you might have shown your crew. I am sending something your way to demonstrate our thanks.
Mr. Bubbles. There has been tremendous pressure to regulate this plasmid business. There have been side effects, blindness, insanity, death. But what use is our ideology if it is not tested? The market does not respond like an infant, shrieking at the first sign of displeasure. The market is patient, and we must be.
Bianca Blue, then my God, I know we're in business. Hurry, the lockdown! Hmm? All right, I'm leaving. But somebody has to find a way to come back to check on these samples. They're very important. Gregory, don't come whining to me about market forces, and don't expect me to punish citizens for showing a little initiative. If you don't like what Fontaine is doing, well, I suggest you find a way to offer a better product. surface I once bought a forest, the parasites claimed that the land belonged to God and demanded that I establish a public park. Why? So the rebel could stand slack-jawed under the canopy and pretend that it was paradise earned. When Congress moved to nationalize my forest, I burnt it to the ground. God did not plant the seeds of this Arcadia. I did. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
and chant, harness the flame, harness the mist, and believe they're touched by the ancient god. <laughs> An aging bunch of frat boys tilting back goblets of plasmids and calling it ambrosia.
but you, was it? No. Brian. I think I've got a way to save the trees. It's a genetic vector that... Oh, look who I'm talking to. Could you find a sample of Rosa Gallica for me? Look in the grotto. Gallica? Oh, what are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? Send us for the new mode. Yes, this is perfect. Perfect. Come on up to my office. I'm letting you in now. I think I've got just the thing to put the green back in this forest. Is there anything in this damn place those pagans won't steal? Paper towels, ink pots, witch hazel, chlorophyll solution, even my back issues of National Geographic. They're feathering their disgusting little shrines with it, I suppose. Sick bastards.
Yeah. <laughs>